Hi, I'm Chelsea, the collector behind Reborns R Us. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. The babies you are about to see that are featured on my accounts are Michaela Rose, Nora Madison, Poppy Lynn, Zoe Sean, Zuri Shea, Ro Priscilla, Grace McKenna, who was pa painted by Peyton at Vinyl Angels Nursery on Instagram, Alia Sun, Ari Shine, Oswald Samuel, Lux Arabella, Isabella Rosalinia, Parker Kyra, Brianna Kira, Annalise Victoria, Lila Chalung, Tu Simone, Pema May, Sarah Jade, and Adila Monroe. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. When my video is over, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and also don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of your views. God bless. Hi guys, Chelsea here. Welcome back uh, for today's video. Um, I wanted to do uh, my version of a video that I've seen a few users now, a uh, few different user um, names used now. Um, the topic is, are reborn collectors rich? Um, and the other channels that have done this topic are Bundles of Joy 83, Random Reborns, and Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Um, my video is not to replace theirs. It is not to insult their opinions. This is just my version of the video, or my version of that topic. And I thought it was a really, really good one, which is why um, I wanted to make my own version of it. And I have Miss Annalise in the video today. I thought it had been a while since I showed her. And I'm going to be changing her into this very, very cute um, winter fleece sleeper that it says Puppy Love. It's got a poodle and a basset hound. And it's, it's just super fluffy and super fleecy soft. Um, and because it's so super fleecy soft, um, it doesn't usually fit everybody. But I know for a fact that it does fit Annalise. I've had her in it before, and she just looks darling in it, so. I want to get back on topic, and our topic is, of course, um, are reborn collectors rich? And in my opinion, that is no. Um. I have a lot of dolls, and I, and, and, you know, this is my opinion, I'm speaking in my opinion here, I am not rich in the slightest. Um, back when I first got into the hobby, you know, I was, the first time I discovered Reborn Dolls, um, I was fresh out of high school. Like, I didn't have a penny to my name, I wasn't working. Um, I didn't have, you know, I was, I thought, um, $20 that I got at, at holidays was a lot of money. 
Um, and, you know, I kept telling myself, I was like, oh, I'm going to have one of these someday. I'm going to have one of these dolls someday. One of these days, I'm going to have one. And I think I did kind of look at the community and think, wow, you know, they, they do have a lot of money to um, be able to spend on those high quality dolls. Um, and then I, you know, I started getting into the hobby. I bought my first doll. Um, I got my first doll on eBay. I think I paid $200 for her. Um, at the time, I thought that was a lot of money to spend on a doll. Um, now that I've been in the community for so long, you know, I know that $200 is nothing to spend on these dolls. And I have spent way more than that on one doll now <laughs> but when you're just starting out you know two hundred dollars is a lot of money and um you know i think i think one of the biggest things is um these these dolls are a lot more obtainable than we like to think um you know they're they're expensive but y anybody can do it um i'm not saying you know there's circumstances out there if, if where people you know you don't <laughs> get these dolls instead of eating or don't get these dolls instead of buying what you need for your children or something like that you know i'm not saying they're you know, there are circumstances that people are in, but, um, these guys, it, it really is more obtainable than y you think. Um, what I did to get mine, um, I made a lot of cutbacks in my life. Um, I am somebody that goes to the movies a lot, um, I stopped going to the movies as much. I was somebody that liked to eat out a lot. Um, I stopped doing that. I don't... I stopped uh, whenever I'm saving for a new doll. Um, I don't go and buy new clothes for myself. Um, I budget. And part of that is um, for these dolls you have to set a budget on what you're willing to spend. Um, you know, if you're going to spend, let's say, and this is uh, on the lower end, but you're going to save if you're going to get to spend money and get a doll that is uh, $500. Um, think about it. Um, what do you buy in a month that is, what do you spend money on on a weekly basis? Um, and that's how I think about it. Uh, let's see, before I see a doll that I decide that I'm going to purchase or that I'm going to save for, I, because of my job, um, I, I drive a lot, so I eat a lot of fast food. So what I did was I started buying things at the supermarket that I could eat on the road with me and stopped spending money on fast food. So by doing that, I would save, um, got a $30 a week. So $30 a week times four is, uh, yes, I am that bad at math. Um, hundred and twenty dollars so right there in a month if you don't if I didn't eat my fast food that I usually get um, a couple nights a week that's a hundred and twenty dollars so um, you know you can do it it's you do have to save but you can do it and you know now that I'm in this hobby I know that by all means no people aren't rich um, 
<laughs> and you know, I, 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 I might myself included, I'm not rich. I have a lot of these babies. Um, I have almost 30 in my collection, but there are things that I do to make it more affordable. Um, one of them is saving. One of them is layaway. Um, layaway makes it so that you pay less upfront. Um, you know, it's small payments over whatever you agree upon with the artist. So I found that to be really affordable as well, because instead of having to pay $800 up front, you know, you pay $200 a month or you pay $300 a, mo a month or, you know, whatever you, you agree up upon with the artist. Another thing that, that I have done to save money, um, you purchase the kit yourself and then you can send the baby to the artist whenever you have the money. Um, there is no time limit. There is no deadline that you have to pay by. You have the, you have the kit. The kit isn't going to sell out. When you have that money, you can find an artist. I've done that as well. Um, another thing you can do, uh, you can get bald or painted hair babies. Um, these babies are usually a couple hundred dollars cheaper. Um, you know, you don't have to uh, pay for uh, the hours of work that the artist is putting into rooting your hair. Um, and I personally, um, you know, I, I don't know if this is true for everybody, but probably not. <laughs> But I, I personally like painted hair better than rooted hair. Um, you know, there's no tangle, no mess, uh, no styling. And, you know, I feel I don't have to worry about um, my dolls getting, that you know, with my outfit changes, because I do like to do a lot of those. Um, I don't have to worry about the quality of the doll being ruined with hair pulling out or... Uh, breaking so um, and the um, the eyes you can save money on the eyes they have the expensive uh, glass German ones but you can also get cheaper eyes you just have to talk to your artist about that um, a lot of artists are now offering budget babies too you know um, they're not high quality like some of the babies you see but you know they're they only have one or two layers of paint but they look good and they're affordable um a lot of artists are also doing cuddles cuddle babies right now um that's basically where you know you don't have any limbs on your baby you know there's no arms or legs um they just use the head and then uh, everything is a soft body, so basically the baby has to wear long sleeves and socks, but, you know, that, does, that doesn't really matter. It's still a very, very nice baby. They're actually really nice to cuddle, too. Um, and what I've done as well um, to help me afford a lot of these babies, you know, you, you start off with the lower quality ones. Um, back when I first got my feet wet in this hobby... I had a bunch of babies that I had gotten off of eBay. What I ended up doing, because um, obviously I wanted these dolls to be, um, as you're in the hobby longer, and this is just in my personal opinion, um, you get, you start to like the higher quality dolls. Um, you start to want those more in your collection. So what I did was I would sell, um, God, I sold at one point, I sold, I think it was five dolls to get, um, Poppy. You've, I know I've shown Poppy on camera before, but she's my Emma by Natalie Scholl. Um, she was my first ever custom baby. And like, I really, really wanted that sculpt. Like I looked everywhere for her. I messaged several artists. Nobody had her. And then I discovered that um, Shay had her, but you can only get her as a custom. So, you know, that was 
like I made it an obtainable goal. Um, I had to make sacrifices. I sold, I, like I said, I think it was like five dolls, but out of it, I got Poppy. So, um, you know, it's, this, this hobby is expensive, yes, but it is obtainable for people that don't make a lot of money. You know, this isn't like, uh, car collecting where, God, you could save for 50 years of your life and you're never, ever, ever able to afford that, uh, Lamborghini. You know, this is, these dolls are expensive, but they're obtainable. Um, you just, you have to work for it, you know? Um... And I, and I totally know that now that I'm in the hobby, you know, I see people's dolls on Instagram, I see people's dolls on YouTube, and I know looking at them, because I myself am one of them now, um, these people are not rich, we don't, I mean, I'm sure there's a few people that are comfortable, but, you know, we're not rich people, we're not able to just, <laughs> you know, buy away, so, and, you know, spend money on um, you know, dolls the rest of our lives, um, and th this is a point, uh, Pixie Mommy Reborns made, you know, she, the sacrifices she made, she was able to do for a, a small amount of time, but realistically, it's not something she's gonna be able to do forever, and I have to agree with her with that, um, you know, I, I've done a lot to get the, my collection, um, the way it is, uh, today, you know, I've jumped on up extra job opportunities, I've picked up extra ships at work, um, like I said, I've cut back, I've stopped eating out, uh, I stopped going to the movies, but realistically, um, I can't keep doing this forever, so, you know, my collection's either gotta end, or I gotta sell other babies to bring new ones in, so, which I'm okay with that, you know, that's kind of part of what this hobby is too. Um, you know, some baby, some people do keep their babies forever and ever, and then some people have them for a little while and they move them along so that they can enjoy other sculpts as well. I'm <laughs> the opposite. I'm more, I'm more of the hoarder. I'm more the ones that keep them forever and ever, but that just means that I have to work that much harder to bring a new baby into my nursery since I'm not willing to uh, sacrifice a baby leaving my nursery so you know there's there's wins and wins and loses in this community but it is obtainable um, if you're younger and you really really want these dolls and obviously they're they're too much money for I mean I know they're out of experience, there were too much money for my parents to just go out and buy me, um, my, um, advice would be to get a part-time job. You know, what, uh, when I was really young, what I did, I babysat every day after school, and I gave up my entire summers to babysat, babysit, and I made, I want to say, 20 to 30 dollars a week. Um, I charged four dollars an hour, um, I was there from 7 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock at night. Um, I cooked for those kids. I bathed for those bathed those kids. I got those kids on the bus. Uh, I put them to bed. Um, you know, the money adds up fast. You wouldn't think that you, you can get, you know, $800 quickly, but you can get it quickly. I promise. Um, you have to work for it but you can do it. Um, so I, I just wanted to share my take on that. Um, and I would, I would suggest going and watching everybody else's videos. Um, they made some excellent points. Um, their videos were really enjoyable. So I'm gonna, um, say their names again. It was Bundles of Joy, 83, Random Reborns, and Pixie Mommy Reborns. Um, I'm gonna put the links in the description 
to the videos so that you guys can find them if you would like to see them. But those were just three of the videos that use the same topic. And um, I thought they made some really, really excellent points. Um, there really is no right, right or wrong with this topic. It's just um, everybody's opinions. So, I, and I just wanted to have my two cents. <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys go now. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye!